is normally cat like the ceiling that you have is pretty not the highest so I might do Omni Farmer with my second pick although Plowmaker with Chamberlain is pretty pretty good also Sailboat Constructor would be fine Smuggler even would be good I have lots of options here but uh, Chamberlain rewards uh, usually you do a three room house and uh, then just focus on getting your feeding set so that you can do family growth nice and early and uh, have a really strong plow sow action in round 12, round 11. Yeah. So I'll try not to screw this up. Because <laughs> you don't get to draft Chamberlain too often. Okay, um, hmm. I'm actually considering Baker here, and the reason I'm considering Baker is because it makes all my feeding problems go away instantly. Um, I could take Smuggler when it comes back around, and then each harvest I just turn up two wood to a grain which I bake into five food and then one wood into another grain which I accumulate to sow at the end of the game for points um, I mean tapestry weaver plus weaver go together pretty well um, there is Aramite Aramite is probably pretty playable for me in this game um, immigrant son not sure about it I don't think I'll do immigrant son actually because those fields come pretty late Gluten-free baker, my card, uh, pretty playable actually. Baker plus gluten-free baker, maybe if I have a way of getting vegetables. Okay, I think I'm going to take baker here. And then uh, if I get Aramite or gluten-free baker back, I'll be pretty happy, which I think I probably should. Hmm, Wealthy Man actually wouldn't be too bad in this game. Play Improvements, play like five Improvements, play Wealthy Man, then play Chamberlain as my only two occupations. That would be doable. Gotta remember Scrounger. So Seed Seller plus Baker would be pretty reasonable. I'll wait for Wealthy Man will probably come back, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Convict? Yeah. Definitely convict. I can use it in the same round that I get my um last person and it raises my point ceiling nice and high. Okay, so Hmm. Smuggler and, and Seed Seller both have similar functions for me this game in that both of them make me want to do um, the same stuff. Omni Farmer, I like Omni Farmer quite a bit. 
I think the uh, points you can get from it is really nice. Uh, I think though Plowmaker is probably the pick here, just because with Seed Seller, I mean, Smuggler is two grain for two wood for two grain, whereas Seed Seller, hmm. Plowmaker or Omni Farmer? I think that's what I'm looking at. I don't think I need to take Smuggler. I think it's Plowmaker or Omni Farmer. I guess Plowmaker is probably the pick. And then here. Oh, was I hoping? I was hoping for Gluten Free Baker to come back. Um, probably Tapestry Weaver. Might be a pretty easy three points. And Wealthy Man, definitely. So if everything else goes to crap, I can just play Occupations late and only play Wealthy Man Chamberlain or something like that. I guess uh, Animal Buyer with Tapestry Weaver is playable. I think Animal Buyer, though, is pretty weak. I think Wealthy Man is better insurance. Wealthy Man is like, if the game goes a very certain way, then it's worth, it's quite worth, uh, so it's worth quite a bit. Um, well, Ceramics is always good with Seed Seller, Baker, because I have extra reason of getting a oven. Uh, milking stool always a fantastic card. Diamond mine always fantastic. Broom, actually broom with wealthy man might be the pick. Actually, hoping that ceramics comes back because each of these help me play two miners and then I could do wealthy man. Yeah, that is looking like a like a play. Sundial, Animal Feed, Ox Goad, Bread Paddle, Carpet. Carpet I don't really need because it'll probably only work once, but with Tapestry Weaver I do have reasons of wanting to be able to hold sheep early. Bread Paddle I don't need to consider because I don't need to take it here no matter what. Uh, sundial I don't think I want to plow early. Um, so if I'm thinking Wealthy Man, I need to not take Ox Code, which I don't think I want to take Ox Code anyways. Yeah, maybe just Carpet. And then here, well, if I get Ceramics back, then Glassblower's Workshop is the pick. But if I don't get Ceramics back, then that might be a problem. Mm. I think chocolate is probably worth playing here because if I play occupations late then this like it'll be very easy for me to have played it. Okay, and then all these are pretty terrible. Millstone with baker is probably the least terrible. Ceramics did not come back, unfortunately. Um, Flamenco Lake, the Port Le Havre, Le Havre. Don't know how to say that. Don't really have a good French accent, or well, don't have a French accent. Um, Schnapps Distillery is actually reasonable, but I don't have a way of getting a ton of vegetables, so. 
Um, I think I want stone oven, right? Or do I? I don't know. Flamingo Lake for a clay is not bad. I guess I guess I didn't get ceramics, right? Paddle, Badger. Badger is, might be reasonable here. Just because I can put it on vegetable and then put it on cattle and then put it on family growth. Yeah, Badger. Badger might actually be playable in this game. The problem is it moves too slowly. Like, if I can't put it over here, it'll take forever to get it to the late round stuff. Yeah, actually, uh, Animal Feed, I think. Animal feed should be worth some food at the end of the game. And, uh. Rotten Plow will let me do cut my six fields with two actions. Mm, I guess I'll take, uh, Country Silo. No, I don't need country silo. Kitchen table with baker is pretty terrible, but maybe I don't play baker, maybe I just play kitchen table. All right. Am I going for wealthy man? Yeah, I think so think so with broom and with all the stuff that I've got done yeah should be should be playable so when am I gonna wanna play wealthy man so if I want maximum points from tapestry weaver I would have to play wealth play it in round 10 or 11 I need to play chamberlain by round 11 so tapestry weaver let's say round 10 so then wealthy man round 9 so I gotta play broom by that point. Um, three wood is a fine start. Although I could do two clay, but if I do two clay and then major minor doesn't come till late, and then I've gimped myself for no good reason. Yeah, I don't mind doing second action kitchen table because it's a point, I think. Yeah. Or I could take one grain as well. But I think probably... Uh, Yeah, probably start player and then read stone food would be okay. Or four wood. Mm. Uh, four wood or read stone food. Or two read. Read stone food, I think. Nah. Four wood is four wood.
I could consider doing um, six uh, six fences. So if Sabosh takes two reed and I like I can take three wood and then do fences and grab uh, especially if round three is fences, grab sheep. Yeah, and have breeding pair of sheep this early, then carpet is playable. Yeah, I think I might want to do that no matter what. Hmm, two reed though. Let's go for it. Let's try something different. If I'm taking all the wood and these guys, it doesn't matter if uh, if they can or can't uh, build rooms because I'm not giving them any wood to build with. And then I just want to get two reed in round four. So my hope is that round three is fences and not uh, major minor. If it's major minor, then guy builds fireplace and I don't get those sheep. Storyteller plus magician, not bad. Ooh, major minor. Hmm. Yeah, so that means I just gotta do readstone food. Unfortunately. Bosch playing Aramite means he's probably not going to do much starting player this game. So that's too bad for me. Um, three clay or three wood. I think I should be able to get fishing. So three wood, I think. Hog all the wood this game. And then set myself up to be able to be the only person to build a room in round four so that I can first action build room round five. And that should be okay. And it'll still give me the time to uh, fence. Yeah, because so I can still fence eight or 10. Probably fencing 10 is better. Second, being able to hold that second breeding pair is a pretty big upgrade. So polka dot just going for the early grain vegetable own stuff. Suppose you play sailboat. So sailboat is going to let him buy a grain and a vegetable to sow on his fields with his spring worker. Yeah, so these guys are going for early crops. And I'm not. Um, pretty sure reedstone food is the pick here. And then second action, four wood, four food, or fences. Ooh, guard plays lady in waiting. Okay, so I don't need to worry about guy building. So my build room action round five is totally safe. So yeah, I should do fishing with my second move.
Oh, so Bosch takes fishing. I had to pay for his sailboat, of course. Um, so I could fence. I mean, I know guy's going to take sheep no matter what. So what else could I do aside from fencing? I could do three food traveling players. <sighs> How am I going to feed if I don't get traveling players? Take grain and then build stone oven. If I take four clay, yeah, I'm not. E I don't even have the stuff to do starting player with. So, like, I don't even. Even if fam if family growth comes round five, will I play my broom that early? I guess I would. I could play millstone. Uh, three food traveling players or I could just take grain and then so long as I get um, an oven then that grain is worth f more food than either of those actions but I don't have to take the grain here I still have options no because this takes away my ability to do broom. Do that just to refresh my board. Three wood. If I take three wood, I mean, my stuff's pretty safe. Maybe I do just take grain, but if I take grain and don't get clay or something, then I'm pretty stuck. Clay, I want clay oven. Oh, I'll just take this clay. I think the clay will let me feed in the next harvest. Hmm. Or to be more precise, the clay will let me take grain for a five or seven food action if I play millstone. Yeah, seven food with millstone sounds good. Sounds good. But polka dot might have been the one to take ceramics. So if he took ceramics, then he probably will want that himself. And he's already got the grain, so he can get to it earlier. But of course, I'm the only one with stone, so. Hmm. The other thing to consider is if family growth comes around seven, I. Yeah, doing starting player will be difficult. Oh, guy playing a little greedy. A sheep might get swept from him, but he's hoping he can get six wood and then uh yeah, because uh suppose Sp will want to take grain so that he can use his spring worker, and polka dot will want to do traveling players, ooh, not so, I would have thought traveling players or I would have thought so not traveling players, but I guess he needed the food probably. So then guy can first action take six wood, second action uh, build room. Which means I could first action fence. And if I first action fence, then Oh, sabosha has got the clay oven locked up. Okay, so I should first action fence because Guile six wood, and then I'm gonna force him to pick build room or take sheep, and he'll pick take sheep because the sheep is way better. <coughs> but the actions here aren't not really all that strong, so that looks okay to me. Oh, you know what? Even if Sabosh has clay oven. He doesn't have a grain to bake it with. Hmm. 
Can I save baking action from clay oven into kitchen and then take green later? I absolutely can. Thank you, Path. That is absolutely correct. I can do that. So I can build clay oven with my first move. But you know what? I think I would rather just take uh, Cooking Hearth. Because Cooking Hearth is going to be pretty good for me this game. I should have access to a ton of animals. But taking the... Um, the grain and saving the action with the kitchen table is not terrible. Mm. I think I fence here. And not eight, but uh, six. I'm going to try to bait. Uh, I want to bait Guy into building a room because if he builds a room, then I'll take those sheep. But there's no way he's going to pass on those sheep. They're worth too much. Well, he might. I think it's a win-win either way. Yeah, he takes its sheep. Okay, good. Good. So then I can start player or build a room. If I start player, if, I, if family growth comes round 7, then starting player is probably better. If it comes round 6, then I don't know. Yeah, poke it out with the clay oven. Oh, that's okay. It means I get hearth. Get cooking hearth, which it, I'm fine with. Actually, I could still go for stone oven. I can still consider that. But uh, cooking hearth will probably be pretty valuable for me. So I'll build a room. Yeah, no family growth, unfortunately. Hmm. If I take two sheep round seven, they breed, become three sheep. So I could take a fourth sheep round eight and then start player carpet. And then carpet would be in effect. Hmm. Do I want to play Millstone here? Uh, I don't know that I want to play Millstone, but I think I want to play Chocolate and Carpet before I play Broom. So I think not playing Broom here is going to be worth something. Oh, Sabosh doing starting player form. Oh, no, he's renovating. No, he is doing starting player. Oh, interesting. I wonder if he has like clay house extension or something. That would be scary if he has clay house extension. Um, so that would mean I need to get um, a ton of food. I need a ton of food. So I could take three food traveling players. What are the odds that traveling players does not get taken? If I need to take two sheep, well, two sheep should be available to me. Mm, you know what? No, I need to play this safe. It sucks, but I have to play this safe. It's too easy to force me to starve if I don't get these uh, three clay. Yeah, I can get pottery. Um, but I think I'd rather, with uh, the fencing done already, I want to get a way of cooking animals. So I want to get a cooking hearth. And cooking hearth with baking like two grain and millstone is actually reasonable. Because with millstone, I can bake a grain with pot with cooking hearth into five, uh, five food, which is absolutely fine. So 
let's see what Sabosh does here. If he has a clay hat extension, then wow, then I'm gonna be pretty annoyed. Yeah, wow. Oh, that sucks. GG, easy win, Sabosh. Am I doing it right? Probably just take wood. I'm gonna have to first action start player next round. I guess I could build cooking hearth here because then I can play chocolate. All right, let's do that. Wealthy man and Chamberlain. That is the plan. At least I didn't sink a whole bunch of starting player actions in. I've only done one so far, so that's not so bad. But it is still annoying to be jumped like that. Yeah, broom, uh, broom might be very, very good. Unfortunately, though, usually broom is good because you can build. Um, a f you usually get a free miner, which is has a point on it. But the free miners with points have um, occupation prerequisites, and I want to play broom before the wealthy man. So, we'll see. It might not be worth playing millstone here. I might, uh, might just play broom. Although I don't really have that many resources, and I probably want to hold broom until I can definitely play a second thing. We'll see. Still got uh, got decisions to make. <coughs> yeah, well, it is too bad that ceramics and broom were in the same pack because those both would have been perfect. Well, getting ceramics as well would have been perfect, but uh, that's all right. That happens. Uh, I'm supposed to taking fishing. What do I do here? Reedstone food. To read. Actually, you know what? I take two sheep. Because that becomes three sheep. I can hope for alms, yeah. Actually, you know what would be better than alms is alms basket. Alms basket would be just perfect for me right now. Alms basket would give me a very good reason to play stone oven. Even without stone oven, alms basket I could plow and then sow, do so bake, and be fine. All right, uh, first action, family growth. So I got to decide, is millstone getting played or not? Is carpet getting played or not? I think carpet is worth playing. I think, car yeah, carpet's, carpet's definitely worth playing. So I'll play millstone here. So I need, uh, 
need to get some food before the next harvest. I mean, I can play Wealthy Man with my second move, but I think I want to hold on to it as late as possible. Yeah, I know I can't carpet. I don't have enough. Uh, don't have enough sheep. Need another sheep. I passed. Uh, forgot that I had passed engineer, so I gave guy engineer and diamond mine, which is pretty good, pretty good. But no way I went around it. I had stuff that I needed to do. So. Oh, Polkadot is building, passing Sabosh six wood. Wow. Uh, that's pretty good for Sabosh. Um, so what do I do here? Four wood? Four wood is reasonable. I need food next round. I can take two sheep. Maybe I... Hmm... Hmm. How do I play this? Do I take two sheep next round? So if I take two sheep, I still am going to want to eat. And I eat, uh, say, two of them. I'm still going to need another two food. Where is that two food coming from? Broom or something? I could take grain. If I take grain and then do so bake, that's two actions for five food. But I'd probably rather not go on grain until I get my seed seller played. But what are the odds that I even get to play seed seller? I don't know. Three stone. I could build basket maker's workshop maybe. I don't know. I'm really not sure what to do here. I know I need to just set up my feeding. That's the only thing I should care about. That's the only thing I should care about is getting my feeding going so that I can have good actions in round 11. Okay, maybe I have to give up on carpet because I need to eat those sheep. That's nice. Carp Clockwork Man plus Immigrant Son works. Uh, that's a nice little combo. So he doesn't have to play all seven of his occupations. Bosch plays fireplace. Wonder if he's gonna go for uh, those two sheep. That would make me sad. I might have to eat all three sheep and take two boar next round.
I might start player broom. Just so that I can play wealthy man afterwards for six points, which is pretty reasonable. Hmm, read exchange. Okay, so guy is actually able to build a room. So if I start player, then um, guy could build a room with his uh, second action and then uh, polka dot would be in trouble. So I probably don't want to do that. I can always just major minor broom. I don't have to do start player. I probably need those sheep, so... Yeah, polka dot securing his pottery anyways. So let's see what Sabosh does here. He might take those sheep. Yeah, he does. Oh, that sucks. So that means I need to get to six food and I have only four, so I could do grain and then sow. But the problem is the sow action I think is gonna be contested. Um. How do I do this? I could take so here. Oh, you know what? I could play Baker. I can do Broom. No, Broom then Baker doesn't work. If I'm going to play Broom this round, it doesn't. You know what? I'll, let's just play Broom, see what I get. Okay, um, what can I afford to play right now? Huntsman's Rifle, actually. I can play. Muddy Waters, I can play. Children's Playground, I can play. Would have to eat all my sheep, but I can still, pl but I can play it. Um, Huntsman's Rifle gives me a, an action which lets me get that food that I want. Okay, let's try it. So now I have a four food action on the boar space. And then I'll play Wealthy Man. Twice during the game, you can place. Yeah, it just it doesn't specify once per round. So if he did it both in one round, uh, if he did b both in one round, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> I guess with Hunson's rifle, I could consider eating all my sheep, so giving up on Tapestry Weaver, and. Uh, doing something else oh man and I also want to start plow sewing with my plow maker so I want to get plow maker out which means I want to take grain with seed seller so I got lots of occupations I want to play hmm I think I play Wealthy Man for sure this round, and then maybe next round I do two, uh, ocu two occupations, and then round 11 I play Chamberlain. Okay, so if I play, what could my occupations be? I play Wealthy Man here, then I play Baker Seed Seller, then I play cha um, Yeah, Baker Seed Cellar and then Chamberlain round 11 would be fine. Because then Plow Sow and I sow the grain that I get from the Seed Cellar, which I can then bake into five food. Okay, so I'm definitely doing Occupation here.
pay for food for my chocolate. And then last action could be bore. Bore for four food and then I can eat my sheep. That looks fine, yeah. Okay, so then this round is all about getting crops. Um, what am I hoping round 12 is? Am I hoping it's family growth or am I helping, hoping it's plow sow? I guess I want plow sow to be round 13 because I want to have another free plow sow action with my plow maker. Bosch builds room. So I have to consider how contested occupation will be here because my food is pretty delicate. So what do I play here? I think I probably play seed seller. I can consider, I could have done four wood, I guess. I do need wood to fill up my farm. Hmm. I think the baker play is gonna work out though. And then first action, Chamberlain, and then Family Growth Plow Sow. Sow the grain, turn it into five food, and then eat a sheep for a good amount of food. Oh, Sabosh plays Village Fool. That's too bad. Um, well, I knew there was a chance of that happening. So do I take two grain here? Do I take boar? Do I start player? Do I take wood? I could plow and then take grain. And then give up on baker. And if I give up on baker, that means I'm gonna have to eat all three sheep. No, I don't wanna do that. I wanna play, I wanna get a bake action. So I could always just do so bake to bank the bank the bank the the grain. Or I take grain and then so bake for a bunch of food. Yeah. Maybe that. And then I pass on playing baker, at least for this round. Suppose she's just having a great game here. Yeah he is, of course. Good player. Also, things went his way with round five family growth and round seven with round five Reno and round seven family growth. Also, the um, spaces being totally like me having build room so easily, meaning I wasn't having to sit on start player because if I was sitting on start player, he would have grown last. Instead, he jumps up to first. So, you know, that happens sometimes. Good on him.
So this is uh, five food here. And I'll uh, I'll just bake the one. To five with my millstone. I guess boar is a four food move, which is almost as good. Hmm. I could take boar, play boar next round too. Four food blocks other players from getting two boar. No, this is probably the way to go. This is going to be a pretty sad Chamberlain. Maybe I needed to go for crops early, so that way this plow sow action is worth a lot more. I don't know. Yeah, polka dot gets the glass blower shop. Very nice. So we can rebuy a free pottery. That's pretty good actually. I think that's probably the way I wanted it to come out. So I feed five food in a sheep. I get to harvest that if I'm sending my fully updated farm. Chamberlain likes late family growth. So that's that's always true. Benefits more from it. I'll have a ton of actions in round 13 and round 14. So what am I going to use those actions for? Um, maybe I play Convict next round. Because I might run out of moves. Like Tapestry Weaver is only two points at this, at this point, And it costs me a food to play. Um, plow, it will be worth playing Plowmaker, 100%. I'll start player with my first action in round, thir uh, round 12 to get a uh, plow so around 13 so if I start player muddy waters and then or actually start player market stall yeah start player market stall I think because that saves me needing to go on vegetable and then so start player market stall and then I play plow maker and then I family growth and then I have one more move and that one more move could be playing convict or I could play Convict in round 13, that would be okay as well. I have some options. 
think probably playing market stall will be reasonable. And then I can play Baker in round 13, and playing Baker settles all my feeding issues because I can eat, uh, bake one of my grain and then eat a sheep again or bake two of my grain that I harvest and then it makes the grain space an eight food action which is not bad ooh six wood Maybe I need to take six wood. Sabosh will probably starting player. Ah, uh, maybe not. He does have village fool and Aramite. Six wood is quite nice, actually. But I do have a four wood, which is useful for me. Sabosh doesn't need the wood unless he builds stables. I mean, it's the three-point action for him. Polka Dot does need the wood. So, hmm. Guy doesn't need the wood. So we've got some things to keep in mind. Sabosh start players, okay. So then I get six wood, and that's fine with me. Okay, um, so I think Okay, so I have two moves. One of them is going to be family growth. Or three moves. One of them is going to be family growth. So I have two moves. Um, fencing here wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I kind of need to decide if I'm going to get to a reed or not. Oh, a diligent farmer. Nice. He gets a free room. And then he can family growth. That's quite nice. Forgot about that card being in the draft. Uh, plow is here. Hmm. Hmm. I want to play my, um, wouldn't mind playing my plow maker here. sheep to play it I might only get one more plow action <clears throat> but if I get two then it's totally worth it <laughs> no there's no way Sabosh is gonna let me do a plow now he's gonna block if 
But when he blocks, I'll do fencing, and I think that that'll be fine. And then in round 13, my first action is start player to set up round 14 plow. So. Oh, I do get plow. Okay, that works. So I'll definitely family growth then I don't know the next round's gonna be kind of funny I guess I could eat a sheep and pick up two cattle that would be I think a fine move but if I do that then I lose out on plow so in the next round maybe suppose will pick up those two cattle if he does pick up those two cattle then that makes things pretty easy for me don't need to think about it too much And he, oh yeah, and he's going to get a plow from his ox goad. Yeah, Sabosh is definitely going to do two cattle, I would think. Unfortunately, I don't have really any points from my improvements, so my farm is going to end up being pretty weak. Uh, I can plow so here. I don't need to do. Yeah, plow so is actually better. Um, because now I can play baker. I just eat a sheep, get a food. So that breeding pair of sheep did pretty well for me got me a nice amount of food so now I can play Baker Baker solves a lot of my feeding issues I could go for a reno fence. No, there's not enough clay available for me to get reno fence. Um, so I could play baker here. I could start player. If I start player, what? What do I gain from doing start player? This is for food, maybe more, compared to fishing. I think it's probably worth doing. I don't ah, maybe fishing is better here. I don't know, it's two food, it's gonna breed to a sixth. If 
four food, it's going to breed to a six. So it's the same amount of food as fishing, just as long as I don't eat it all before the next harvest, which I shouldn't need to. Because I can bake, go play baker, or I can go on so bake and pay a food to, um, to uh, bank a kitchen table bake. My fencing should be reasonably safe. I guess I would like to fence this round just to get it out of the way, but I imagine polka dot will fence. Yep. Nice, yeah. These guys have nice farms. Hmm. I could take six. Six food is not uh, terrible for me. Oh, Sabosh got the well and a four room stone house, yeah. Nice game. He had a very nice game. Um, thinking, thinking, six food fishing. Okay, let's do it. And then I can play baker and then I can play convict. Or I can play baker and play well, or play, um, No, I want to play Convict here. Yeah, I think. So if we compare Braggart to Wealthy Man, Braggart, for this many um, improvements, would have given me what it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine. So it would have given me a three points. But if for each additional improvement, it would be worth two points each time. Whereas wealthy man is worth one point each improvement um, constantly. So. But Wealthy Man also is way more difficult to play. I don't know. I think Wealthy Man could be buffed a little. Um, how would I buff it? Hmm. No, oh, Polka Dot plays my card. The Gluten-Free Baker. Play this here, play Baker. I still have two point actions, so I think uh, I think I don't need to play Convict yet. Star player was still available. I should have considered doing star player. But I just uh, take vegetable here, I think. And I'll bake a uh, grain to five food. Feed 10, 
My sheep finally breed up to four. I might get Plauso. If I get Plauso, that would be good. It will be worth eating. Yeah, Plauso would be good. Oh, so Bosch will do Plauso. So I'll do so bake, and that's fine. Unless he does ox code. I have Convict, which is a food for two points. I have Muddy Waters, which is a free point. Actually, Children's Pasture is going to be a free point, it looks like. Once I play it. Oh, Guy Plays Cacotte. That's weird. Oh, it's a field, that's why. Okay. Well, hopefully I've seen all these... Hopefully they're done playing in occupations. Holy crap, the occupation spot has been pretty hotly contested all game. So what do I do? Do I take cattle and then fences and then I can do like occupation and improvement, children's playground, something like that. Take uh, boar. I guess boar blocks more people. No, I'll just take cattle. Uh, yeah, polka dot's gonna do the reverse of whatever I do here. So, cattle's fine. So, I need defense and then, yeah, and then improvement and occupation. So each of these actions are worth at least two points, which is good, but uh, not going to be enough, not anywhere near enough. But some of the stuff Sabosh threw away. Yeah, good stuff. Not playing Animal Pen, oof, difficult to not play Animal Pen. This is the same number of points as if I did it on the smaller scale. I still have enough uh, points available to me. I'm not worried about losing out on a potential one point plow because I still have occupation and, uh, and grain. Grain is still a point, vegetables a point. So I still got other ways of getting a couple of points with my actions. So maybe my plan was flawed. Maybe I needed to go for the baker plus seed seller early in the game and then not go for the first room. Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, that's nice with this. Uh, the bee statue gets him that last stone that he needs to get stone oven. Hmm. Yeah, I probably did not play this very well. I don't know if Wealthy Man was worth it at all. Probably wasn't. But uh, I 
think ultimately it'll come down to I was never going to beat Sabosh because of his round seven family growth jump. And so that just um, won him, that probably won him the game, that action. Oh, he's got milking stool. Oh, and he's uh, he's blocking the my two point action. Oh, that sucks. Should have held on to. Uh, Should have held on to it. Oh well. You know what I needed this game? I needed a way of um, playing occupations easier. If I had a way of playing occupations earlier, th easier that would have made a big difference because I could have played Tapestry Weaver for points. I could have played Baker earlier so then I don't have to worry about doing a bake action. a sheep and bake one grain. So I score whatever I have plus uh, nine. Only 40. Oh my god, that's pathetic. Oh man. Maybe wealthy man just sucks. Maybe I get my game for wealthy man when I should have done seed seller, baker, just set that up early on and then have easy feeding, not worry about animals. Yeah, maybe the carpet kind of distracted me. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll go for carpet. Yeah, that was probably, probably terrible. I mean, I only scored 40 with Chamberlain. Just really terrible, really terrible. And then my plow sow action is worth a lot more if I do the early crop play. I could have just played Seed Seller, Plowmaker, Baker, and had a better game than I did. I think. Maybe not, actually. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. It's disappointing. Really disappointing. I'm sure I'm going to see that I pick the highest power card almost every time. But I'll look at it anyways. Because to come out like that is pretty upsetting. Okay, Immigrant Sun 4.2 power over Baker. Hmm. Seed Seller, Scrounger's better. Convict is fine. Plowmaker's fine. Tapestry Weaver is fine. Wealthy Man is terrible, apparently. They took Broom here because I thought, oh, I'll do Wealthy Man. 
Past diamond mine. Carpet. Wow, 1.5 power. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might overvalue carpet. I guess my thinking with carpet is that I was going to grow at the same time as the first player, the first family grother. Chocolate's fine. So millstone, but all these cards are pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, not getting anything out of this. I I don't know. I don't know what else I should have done. Maybe the plant's flawed all along. Like m maybe wealthy man is just terrible. I know I've seen him used well a couple times, so did I need to play stage one differently? Give up on wealthy man. Yeah, that's the thing I keep coming back to. Maybe I just plow one or two fields early, do seed seller, take grain once, and then play baker. In, and then get a cooking hearth in stage two to bake two grain to six food each harvest. Yeah, maybe that would have been better. Anywho, I think I am done for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, that pretty second game was pretty disappointing. Um, I'll uh, I'll be in chat for a bit if you want to chat with me. Tell me what I did wrong. I'm not sure. Maybe the plan's flawed all along. Maybe I spent all those actions doing occupations which were not worth it. Maybe I didn't have enough moves to take wood with. I I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to think about it more. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. What should I have done differently there? What would you have done in my situation? Let me know. See you guys next time.